Hey there, this is Clay, and today I want to talk about um, a little bit of a concept, um, and that, that's really the difference between, you know, just trying to follow the manual uh, versus really learning a craft, learning an art form, and doing that in your daily life. And this comes from uh, the idea that a lot of people um, who reach out to Mika and I for help, um, they, they, they just want like a manual, they want, want a step-by-step thing that they can just follow and do and just you know flip their brain off and just step one okay pick up the phone step two okay call my ex got it. step three say this magic script okay blah 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 step four everything's better they forgive you they, that's what they want um and you know that that that's nice that would be nice to have that but that's really not very practical because every relationship is different. Every relationship is unique. You already know this. You already know this deep down. Um, and you know, you have to be able to respond and feel into a situation and know what to do because every relationship is unique and you have to be able to adapt the guidelines and the concepts that Mika and I give you into your unique situation. There is no paint by numbers. It's the difference between, um, you know, just getting like uh, a bookstore, uh, a bookshelf at, at the furniture store. And, you know, you're sitting there on your living room floor with your screwdriver and your hammer and all that stuff. And you're just following the instructions. Okay, step one, uh, put, put the, the side on. Step two, uh, screw it in. Step three, uh, put the shelves in. And, 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 and you know, uh, that can work for something like a bookshelf, something that's supposed to be identical. The next bookshelf uh, in that particular series, you know, they're all exactly the same. And if you just follow the instructions, you can get the exact same bookshelf. However, you know, like I said before, relationships are unique. There are no two relationships that are exactly alike. And so that's why you can't just have this sort of mechanical set of instructions that you follow. Um, and, and what you need to do instead is, is be more like an artist, is be able to learn some basics and then adapt it to your situation. You know, like, like, um, uh, some of the great artists of, of the Renaissance or throughout history, uh, they studied the basics. You know, they learned how to paint uh, a face. They learned how to paint a human body. They learned how to deal with, with sunlight. Um, and how to paint that on, on different surfaces, tablecloths, uh, you know, people's bodies, uh, the landscape, stuff like that. And they learned how, t how all of this works together so that they had um, a skill set that they could take and apply to whatever they wanted to paint. You know, if you want to paint the Mona Lisa, okay, great, I've painted thousands of faces before, I'll just paint another face with like a little smile on it, and I'll do the lighting, and I'll paint, paint in the background, and all that stuff. And, you know, Leonardo da Vinci was able to do that because he had mastered a skill set and he was able to translate that into his vision for that painting. Um, you know, it wasn't just a matter of paint by numbers. It wasn't just, uh, you know, he pulled this canvas out and it had like this little outline of it, of, of the Mona Lisa. And he just had to like, you know, fill it in with color number two and all that. And... And, you know, he had to like actually feel into that situation, feel into it emotionally and adapt to what that situation needed to be, to what that painting needed to be. And that is what you have to be able to do with your relationship. There's no paint by numbers solution here because everything is unique. You have to get a skill set, um, whether that is, 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 you know, communication skills, whether that's being able to be more open and forthright with your emotions and your intentions, whether that is um, being more honest, whether that is bringing more integrity to your interactions, um, whether that's being more accepting. And, you know, these are all skills that we teach to you. Uh, and, you know, we do give you a couple of guidelines as far as like the how to do it, how to, you know, make that bookshelf. We give you a few guidelines, but because every situation is unique, every relationship is unique, every breakup is unique, you need to be able to take those guidelines, feel into them, and adapt them to your situation. Uh, you know, you can't just paint the same body over and over and over and over and over and over and over again and expect to have a great um, uh, piece of art. You have to be able to study the, the general anatomy of a body and be able to paint that body in whatever 
uh, you know, form or, or position, you need it to be in for that particular painting. And that's kind of the mindset that we want you to have with, uh, with your relationship and with everything that we teach you. Um, you, you need to be able to adapt it to whatever your situation is. You need to be able to feel into it and adapt it to whatever you know in your gut, in your heart, is the right uh, application of it in your situation. So I hope this helps you out and um, I hope this gets you to, to, to really see a, a bigger picture beyond just you know mechanical steps. Of, of trying to follow a step-by-step -step system or trying to paint by numbers or anything like that. Because it's, having a relationship, having a life, having anything uh, that's really worth having in life is going to be more than just a simple uh, set of, of steps that you follow. Um, you're gonna have to be able to adapt that. You're gonna have to be able to feel into it and customize it. So I hope this helps you out. And if you want to learn more, about how to get back together with the person that you love, head on over to relationshipinnergame.com. Thanks.